Hi Virgo, this is your monthly tarot reading by M for the month of March 2020. I'm going to draw three cards, oh, sorry, four cards for you this time and clarify with another four. So we're going to have two cards per week. All right, so let's start. Okay, the world. Three of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. And the Three of Cups. Influencing energy this week for you, Virgo, is Nine of Pentacles. Very nice. This is accomplishment. Finishing the situation in very successful way. Do you see all the cards? Yeah, you do. In very successful way. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. See this all grape vines around. Those are fruits of your labor. You may, you uh, 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 completed something and it is your achievement and you're enjoying it. Let me just pull this clarifier so we can talk some more. The world card paired with the lover's card. Two majors, eh? Three of pentacles paired with the star card. And then knight of swords paired with ten of wands. Then Three of Cups paired with Justice card. Nine of Wands influencing energy this week. Two Nines. Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. It seems that you uh, did achieve. There is an achievement here for you. And you are enjoying it. It seems there is money, there is a success there, everything is visible. You're very happy. Let me just quickly close this window. All right. Okay, and then, and then, but then it seems everything came through really hard labor. That it really, uh, it was a situation when you work a bit too hard for something, for this achievement. You are happy now, but it seems this moment that was something that was within you, because I see this hard work here as well, it might actually carry on uh, uh, further with, with this that it's kind of not finished, you will finish that, but it's kind of, it makes you already sick to do repeating same one, same one all the time, or doing a bulk, it could be bulk on different small things, small jobs that you still have to accomplish, things like that for you, makes you a bit sick. This one, this one will do it, I mean, energy nine of one says you will do it, but it will be hard way, it will be hard way for you. It's not happy, being happy and doing job. This isn't that kind of situation. This is, this is job well done and job done really being sick and tired of. <laughs> but it's both of them at time. That is definitely this one will do. It's, it's standing firm, even though it's not happy anymore, defending and, and doing things and again and again. There's no happiness in here but the job will be done. Anyway, we do have accomplishment in, a, in both ways, just a different way, different sentiment, but accomplishment is there, that's for sure. Now, your first week on, on, in March with the World Card and the Lovers, some kind of completion. Completion, you see the Lovers card, it sort of says some choice, uh, um, love as well. You know, but it's usually a choice where you choose um, between two things that you really love to do, two people, uh, two situations, but it's both good. It's, it's nothing really, um, it's nothing that is um, controversial or um, um, difficult in here. This decision isn't difficult. This, uh, this decision is pleasure. This choice is pleasure. So you do have, you feel it within yourself, this, that you have a choice, or you, or you just feel love for the situation, for person, for, but it's always duality with the lover's card, let me say, there's always kind of duality, it's always some kind of choice, but anyway, anyway, the world card down there tells me there is completion 
in this partnership, in this decision, maybe just decision was made. But with the world card, I think it is something a bit wider. It does incorporate a bit more than just, yeah, complete one decision. Maybe because this is both, both of these energies are major energies. It doesn't say anything, uh, it's not event. Um, there's no event in here. It's always uh, a bit major arcanas. It's always um, just just um, um, feeling change, feeling that something is going on, something will change, something's around you. More being in the present moment with these emotions, than than um, than really something's happening. Okay, the world card, as I said, is completion of a cycle. You completing kind of cycle. Now the lovers card can also say something like that: that you are standing now, two naked people, that you are standing now in front of some major decision in your life, being that you completed one cycle. The cycle is completed, and it's the world card always says that it's not just one thing. With with the world card, it's at least few situation it's at least few aspect of your life that now are completed and it was interrelated and they are completed right now from there something new is coming something new springs from from uh, from this completion of the world card it's also uh, uh, um, ending and beginning its world card is always like that something begins there as well that what begins it's really something that you really love it's a lover's card it's a choice for you there that kind of comes for you out of this world out of this completion so this choice as I said you're supposed to choose between two things that you really love to do or many things but it is some loving energy in here that is angel protects these two people that angel protects your choice to whatever you choose in this in this first week of March it, you will do with love so that's your first week of March the second week with now Three of Pentacles on top and the Star card underneath. Now, as I said, I'll um, first follow this Star card. The Lovers card, as I said, you're going to be choosing between things that you really love to do. Love is on top of it. Energy of love is all over here. Whatever your choice is, love is there all over you. Now, the Star card next to it. It tells me that you've got, you see the both this of these situations that you're supposed to put these options for you. You see that you've got a bright future with. You're very optimistic about it, and it seems to me that why you actually you indecisive. It might says indecisiveness because you see the bright future in front of you with either of this. Now. Let me get back to the Three of Pentacles on top. Three of Pentacles, it's your skill. Skill that you're already showing. Somebody already seeing your skill. Somebody already talking about, with you and about you. About your skill. About something that you're doing confidently. Uh, um, some skill work, some knowledgeable work. Uh, um, uh, people are seeing you. You're showing to people already what you know and how can you do something, whatever it is, whatever your skill here is. Could be that you just work for the company and suddenly your bosses around start noticing your job well done, that you doing your job well. Whatever your job down there is, that is the situation. Somebody starts noticing that you are start to notice that look this person is doing job very well this person is always uh, on time in the morning you know, you see what I'm saying that kind of people are noticing you this is first success at, at work in your own business in the situation that you got in your second week of March 
that kind of energy but very optimistic very very optimistic now knight of swords we do have energy an intellectual one mind energy but it is, this is um, action being in action with this energy which says talking discussing this one is charging forward but it's very assertive uh, uh, um, this is very active energy very active mind active this is conversation communication but the one uh, really really clear there's there uh, sometime with the knight of swords there's attack as well you know he's kind of attacking with words with mind with logic he's got arguments proper arguments he knows what he's talking about and he's going with it he's arguing confidently intelligently with logic knight of swords now the ten of wands underneath that's what you feel after all of this it is kind of first part of this month was your choice for being more being within yourself and and this decide about which way to go now because you completed one stage you you're showing now to people your qualities people are seeing your qualities and something is obviously opening for you there is an opening for you in first part of march you're very optimistic choice is there for you now third week perhaps what sort of communication but it's related to your work it's something some burden some, something that you took up on yourself and it's a bit too much you suppose you it, it's a heavy load you carrying it you're doing it yes you will go you will get it to the end you'll bring it to an end but it, it is not pleasure for you you're not find pleasure you don't enjoying it you can't wait to drop this load now this argument there is it perhaps that you now coming up telling people that it is too much for you that you loaded a bit too much it is perhaps reason this load is a reason for you to come up to argue to communicate to to bring some logic to be, bring arguments and details about why and how i'm doing this that perhaps your third week of March. The fourth week, in the fourth week, oh my God, this has some, hmm, I have to clean it up. Anyway, sorry about that. The fourth week, justice card. It seems you did receive justice. You know, moment that you raise your voice, you uh, 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 come up with a proper argument, with your logic, with, you got your justice. There's justice, another sword in here, decision has been made. You have to, it, it seems like in order for you to prosper this way, this, the, this prospect that you have for yourself, which is really beautiful, you're happy about it. That this, before you move uh, uh, forward with this prospect, you're supposed to drop this load. That is something that you were carrying on from your past. Something that you've been on and on for quite some time, maybe for a long time, and it's coming to an end, and it has to end, just because you raised your voice and it, you said it has to end. And it ends. Just this card. You're very happy about it. You feel balanced, and it's right that they've done it. You feel proud of yourself. It is just and true, and you've done it you're very happy about yourself, very balanced, very uh, emotionally stable, mentally stable. Justice card, lovely, Libra card, balanced. And of course, Three of Cups on top. You will be celebrating the, this, this unloading yourself. You will celebrate with your friends, with your parents, uh, with your uh, loved ones. This is celebration of this. It's kind of a small achievement, you know, just to get rid of something that was a, a burden in you. And, but you're done raising your voice. You, you would be one to raise your voice for stand up for yourself. Stand up, Virgo, for yourself. And you did it. And you're happy. You call your friends around, you know, and you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. We celebrate it. 
very nice. Lovely work of lovely. I love your influencing energies. And as I said, Mark is kind of divided in, in, in two halves. First and second, and perhaps that's what happens in the in the um, in the first half of this month. It's kind of cause energy for all of it to happen. You would perhaps carry on with this load if it's not this opportunity. Maybe you would you know carry on with this what you're doing. You know you wouldn't. Maybe you would complain. You wouldn't like it much, but you would carry on with it. Maybe it's a job that you didn't like anymore, but you had to do it. Now you decided, no, I don't not want to stay near. I'm going with my skill for something better. Lovely, lovely Virgo. I really hope that you're going to enjoy your March. <laughs>